Good morning, my children, and welcome to your English class. Today, my children, we're going to continue with the topic this in singular, because guess what? We also have this for plural objects. But before we get into the new topic, let's have, let's have a review of this. Now, remember, when we have the word this, means singular, once again, for one object, but it's also when the objects are close to us, near to us. Cuando estos objetos están cerca de nosotros, vamos a utilizar la palabra diez, ¿ok? Diez, que quiere decir en español, means esto, ¿ok? Siempre y cuando sea para un solo objeto. Very good. Now, remember the questions. Whenever we say, what is this? Nos estamos refiriendo a que no sabemos qué objeto tenemos enfrente de nosotros o no sabemos cómo se llama. Por lo tanto, utilizamos esa pregunta. What is this? Y lo vamos a señalar porque lo tenemos muy cerquita, ¿ok? En este caso, por ejemplo, like my markers that I have right here, como estos marcadores que tengo aquí. Are they near or are they far? They are near, están cerca del teacher. Por lo tanto, puedo decir, what are these? Señalando, ¿qué son estos? ¿Ok? Very good. Now, here we have three uh, questions. These questions are not in your teddy book. No están en su libro. These are extra activities for you. For, but for this, remember that you have to work along with the teacher. También tienen que ayudarme en todo lo que ustedes recuerden, ¿ok? Very good. So, the first question using this in plural, in singular, sorry, means, what is this? ¿Qué es esto? What is this? Remember, when we answer correctly, we have to begin with this. This is, esto es, this is, a, don't forget to write a or an because we're talking about singular objects. This is a, and what is it? A pencil. This is a pencil. In Spanish, esto es un lápiz. Let's continue with the second question. For number two, it says, what, what is this? ¿Qué es esto? What is this? Remember, when, when we answer it, we have to write all of the answer. This, esto, this, is, a, a cat. This is a cat. Esto es un gato. Very good. And finally, number three, it says, what is this what is this okay this is this is a pizza a very delicious pizza now these activities my children you can also practice them at home with the help of mother and father. You can grab any object that you want and you can ask your mother or your father for that object. Ustedes en casita también pueden practicar este tipo de, de preguntas con mamá o con papá. Ustedes le pueden decir a sus papitos, What is this? This is a book. This is a kitchen, referiéndose al objeto que ustedes quieran nombrar, ¿ok? Very good. Now, let's continue with this in plural form. Once again, remember, plural, two, three, four, up to 100 objects, ¿ok? Now, remember, this plural objects, but when they are near, when they are close, cuando estos objetos están cerca de nosotros, ok, en forma plural. So, as you can see the drawing, the finger is pointing several objects, several dishes, one, two, three, ya no estamos haciendo el conteo de uno como singular, here we are including uh, more objects, ok, plural form. 
Now for this, we are going to answer the questions similar to singular. Vamos a responder estas preguntas de manera casi, casi similar a la forma singular con solo una excepción. I'm going to tell you what is that exception in a few seconds. But for this, let's start working. Now, here, once again, we have four questions. Now, these questions, we have to answer them with this in plural form. So, the question and the number one is, what, what are these? ¿Qué son estos? What are these? Now, the answer is, they are and the quantity of the objects. One, two. We have to write it, we have to write the number in letter. They are two, two what? Okay, so remember these are not jeans, these are not pants, these are shorter, shorts. These are two shorts. These are two shorts. Okay, very good. Let's continue with the number two. Now remember the question, what are these? What are these? ¿Qué son estos? Remember the answer. They are Let's count. One, two, the name, the number with letter. They are two Two what? Two sweaters. They are two sweaters. Don't forget that because we're talking about plural, como estamos hablando de objetos en plural, no se les olvide agregar la S al final. Okay? Very good. Let's continue with the third question. Number three. What are these? What are these? They are son one, two, they are two erasers. Now an eraser it's an object to erase para borrar a mistake that you made with the pencil para borrar a lo mejor un error que cometieron con el lápiz. Al escribir con su lápiz, we use an eraser to erase the mistake, para borrar ese, ese error, okay? Very good. The teacher also have, has an eraser, and I have it right here. In, my, in this case, the eraser that I have is like a rectangle, has a rectangular form, and I use it whenever I made a mistake on the whiteboard, I use the eraser. Very good. And finally, number four. Once again, the question, what are these? ¿Qué son estos? They are They are son one, two, three. Remember the number with letter. They are three threes. They are three threes, okay? Very good. And remember, this is in plural form. So don't forget to add S at the end of the object. Now, once again, my children, I know that probably this type of exercises were a little bit difficult for you, but don't worry, no se preocupen. Si, si les costa un poquito de trabajo, vamos a seguir trabajando con ellos. Um, En el futuro vamos a trabajar constantemente para que eh, lo puedan dominar y no se les olvide, ok? So don't worry. Very good. Now this activity is part of your teddy book and it's located in this page. Here as you can see we have the uh, questions and next to the questions we have the objects, ok? Now, if you want at the end of this activity, if you want to paint the, the objects, 
using different colors, you can do it. There is no problem, okay? Very good. Now, also something that is very important is that you work constantly with these objects, okay? In your, ha in your home, in your house, with your parents, with your mother or your father, it's good if you start asking this type of questions. Remember, if you are talking about one object, what is this? What is this? What is this? And don't forget the answer. This is a, a marker. This is a, a cat. This is a ball, etc. Okay? In the case of the plural objects, what are what are these? They are, and don't forget to count, one, two, they are two markers. What are, what are these? They are 100 circles, okay? Very good. So in that, in that form, you can practice it so you never forget this type of questions. Very good, it's a, it's, a, it's a suggestion. So you can, if you want, you can apply it to practice this new topic. Very good. So that's it for today, my children. I hope that you have an excellent day. Don't forget that the teacher Jacob loves you very much. Goodbye.